Welcome back. We are going out of sight with Rick Hancock. Welcome. Good morning. Rick. Good morning. We're going to talk mobile apps. You know, okay. there's an app for everything yes. on every type of phone. There are hundreds of thousands of apps out there for your mobile phones, but we forget that the apps are working on a phone. Right. So I want to talk about a couple of apps that you can use to reduce your phone bill, maybe reduce Ooh, the minutes, that sounds good. get a second line. We've all second heard of line? a second line on the same phone. Okay, Skype. We've all heard of Skype. Mm -hmm. A lot of people use Skype on their computers to talk to their friends. It's great for international calling. Yeah. There's now a mobile app for it on a lot of the smartphones. Here's the one for the BlackBerry, the Android. There's also oh. one for the, uh, the, the iPhone. Does and it cost anything? It, well, it depends on what you, what, you, what you want to do. All Skype to Skype calls. If you have Skype, I have Skype. Those calls are free. Same way, and you, Same it, it, works, it works over the internet. Again, wireless internet. It only works on the wireless internet. Okay. So if you have a wireless internet connection, yeah. Skype is going to work great, and it's going to be free. And a lot of people who have businesses or you want to reduce your, your minutes on your regular cell service, um, this is a great alternative. Another option has become a very popular, Google. Google Voice. Uh -huh. It's another, you can get a phone number, you'll get a Google Voice number. You have to be invited, okay, or you have to get an invite from someone. Oh. And they're not hard to get, but you have to ask. And again, it's one number, so you have your friends call one number. A lot of people move around or they mm -hmm. change jobs, so you can give one phone number and it can ring at work, it can ring on your cell phone, or it can ring on your other cell phone number. It's a very popular feature as well. And this is a Google. It's through Google. It's Google. Now, the only downside with this, if, if you're downside, if you're, if mm -hmm. you're an iPhone, user. It's only uh, the application is only available for the Android and the BlackBerry. You can use um, Google Voice on an iPhone, but you have to use it through a web client. So okay. you'll have to kind of log into a website. Mm -hmm. Now, the one I was very, very excited about has been has gotten a great buzz over the last few weeks, but it's gotten so popular, it's shut the site down. It's called no. Line 2. Line 2 is a great site, a great uh, feature when it's up and running because it not only works on the Internet, it also works on the cellular and 3G network. A lot of people were surprised that the Apple... So two lines on the same phone. On the same phone, and you don't need to necessarily be connected to the Internet to, uh, to use it. Is it two different numbers? It's two different numbers, two different numbers. Wow. Yeah, I know. Awesome. I know. Hey, let me get one more plug in. Hey, we know how you can reach us on Facebook. We have an out of sight mm -hmm. page on Facebook, and you can follow us on Twitter. Links on our site at Foxy T. Thank you. Right. Okay, Logan, over to you. What do we have coming up? Sarah, we've got a lot coming up for you next on the Fox 61 Morning News. At 7, Tom Lewis will join us live from Middletown. That's where there are some major flood concerns along the Connecticut River, so we'll talk to him in just a minute. Also, it's a girl for slain UConn football player Jasper Howard. We will tell you about that and a dream come true for a high school robotics team.